Finding wallet on Tap Tap Send. Step one: Click on Create Ghana CD Wallet below when you open the app. Step two: Enter amount of your choice in Ghana CDs. Step three: Click on the Confirm and Fund Wallet below to confirm. Step four: Your wallet has been successfully funded. Step five: Enter amount of your choice in Ghana CDs. Step 6. Select or add new recipient. Step 7. Choose wallet as payment method. Step 8. Click on the pay with wallet below to confirm. Step 9. Your transaction is successful. Indeed, one of the beautiful days in the world for Summit Flex is 26 March because that is my birthday and I can tell you that today the celebration has been awesome. Many people online uh, celebrating me, though I know when it is my birthday I see how people celebrate me online, but looks like this year, <laughs> too much, I tell you, too much and I can't say thank you enough to you for your birthday wishes uh, for your presents for your gifts for the fact that a group of some sm fans decided to come give me a surprise visit popping champagne with me cutting cakes with me giving me this beautiful frame here that i'm going to keep on my walls as well and um they even brought envelopes and things containing cash <laughs> sm is a religion indeed and i can't say thank you enough to them you guys are wonderful to the guys in the uk for spearheading this and to men like um dreamline uh, de la saviola cm boss lagata nancy and all the names i can oh be afraid all the names i can remember shatter uh, the baba oh shatter the baba <laughs> <laughs> he says he's the incoming publicist for shatter uh, yeah. yeah so any other person oh driller 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 x uh, sm biker he was also here and a good number of you guys who came here i really appreciate you and if you, if you could see the way they were spraying cash left right and center it's a big deal we'll be talking about that in a jiffy um what is so beautiful about that and the fact that um this is something that many don't see in our fraternity of fans celebrating their manager and it feels good to be a part of the sm family and other matters yesterday too whilst we were handling some of the issues um ECG, we lost our privilege. <laughs> <laughs> we lost our privilege of enjoying light. They took it without any now you are information. For. Uh -huh. So we have to continue with some of the stories. I hear Bongo Ideas has finally found his phone. That's what I'm gathering. That finally he's found his phone. And people are saying, Ah, Bongo can be a story writer. They said Bongo's story that he's telling there. Mm. 
the story no sweet like that. Um, I even hear he was supposed to go for an interview. The interview is cancelled, and some matters arising. And some of the issues happening here, we'll be talking about it as well. In the studio, in Team Dodo Solomon Chemo, today is in the middle. As you can see, our online manager Flex Entertainment Limited and Tido Su Digital Solutions Boss. I also have Roland Amate, who is the boss of Roland Empire, uh, Roland Report on YouTube, RolandReport.com. And he also works with Shutter Movement Empire as well as Shagzi. You guys should know this. And um, behind the scenes, Digital Rasta is called Currency. He controls our camera for us, and Richie Flex is the editor director of the show. Meanwhile, Tap Tap Send. It's still holding us down. So if you're thinking about sending money from abroad to Ghana, like those who would want to send money to come celebrate my birthday, use Tap Tap Send. Don't bother to use any other app. Tap Tap Send does it best. And again, I hear the um, wallet is good for each and every one of you. Just ask the video, explain to us how you can use the wallet. Uh, whilst you are, you are on the app, you can also get a, a wallet and use it as well. The wallet helps best when you want to convert your pounds to CDs at the time that the rate is cool. You keep it in the wallet or maybe you want to come to Ghana to chill. You don't carry cash. Still keep the money in the wallet, in CD, so that whilst you are here, you can be chopping money, rad, 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 like that. Parimatch.com is a betting app. Parimatch GH is a betting app. And they want you to know that you can also make some cool money if you believe in the betting process. Just get an app on the phone, um, put in your details and start making money. Parimatch will be a say a year. And I want you to get it now. That is very much for you. Use the promo code SAM for all your betting games and any other games. And you can also use the promo code SAMAV for Aviator mm. as well. The aviation <laughs> industry. You can <laughs> see the airplane there ready to fly. <laughs> Whim, that is gone. Mm. So that is what you can also do. 200% bonus for newcomers. Um, join now. Make some money. I hear people are really chopping money there. So make some money today and share with others as well. Now, let's come home and start the real job. So yesterday, I'm sure we were talking about how sometimes fans are able to attack other people when they go contrary to what they believe in. And we're using Yapono as a case study where in his attempt to perform one of his big songs, Benabu of Kwaratu, Benabu at ATU concert. Some SM fans got mad that you don't have to play this song. They started sending him bottles on the stage. And in the process, Pono got angry. And I don't know whether he decided to leave the stage or, sorry, he decided to leave the stage or he, the show, he had ended the performance. I'm not too sure. Uh, Richie, if there is a video that you, you would want us to see, let's see it briefly before we even start talking. Come the front, come the front. Bring him, man. Bring him. If he fight with the want, no be bottom. Make way to know, bruh. So, we bad. Come the front, come the front. Bring him, man. Bring him. If he fight with the want, no be bottom. Make way to know, bruh. So, we bad. Well, so that was Podo there. Um, Ro, you have been going for some of these shows. Mm. Um, first of all, do you think he ended the show abruptly or that was the natural end of the show? No, no, no. He ended it abruptly. He ended it? Yeah, yeah. Because there are certain videos that I watched that um, the moment the song started and they started throwing the things. I mean, he spotted one person that he saw him throwing. So he even attempted to enter into the crowd but some of the military men in front of the stage actually 
prevented him from entering into into the crowd in that manner okay. because in that time he was holding a microphone he was working and anything can happen besides even if the security has anything to do protecting him at that particular time would have been very difficult for for the security so they had to even prevent him pull him back even mm. when he decided to descend the stage mm. he did and they pulled him back onto the stage so it was during that time that he still wanted to perform the song and they were still throwing of which now there i think some of the guys told him that Charlie, and then it was better he stops he stops the performance he stops well, the performance so also feels he finished the performance no 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 mostly mostly that song he performs it either in the middle or just before he closes but the the thing is that this is not the way he ends his performance mm -hmm. that's the conversation mm -hmm. okay. that is not the okay. way he ends his performance okay. so he and ended, ended it as more nice exactly exactly so like, uh -huh. me or uh -huh. he ended it abruptly that one day is, is established so with with that but with the behavior it is unfortunate it is not something that we will condone but it is also one thing that we will also base on to advise certain people who would want to engage in beefs and squabbles especially mm -hmm. in the industry okay. because there are certain people especially followers and fans who take it beyond their favorite having fun mm -hmm. maybe sometimes to to the musicians or to the stars they think probably they are having fun of which some of themselves are even stunts that they cook behind the scenes to come and present it okay. but some of the followers take it to heart i've been to an event where maybe an artist is headlining and they know okay he's this is the opposite camp of this particular artist the okay. moment you begin to play a song from the opposite camp the the fans there can allow can stop the dj from playing those songs okay it happens mm -hmm. maybe they can say okay shatter and stone or shatter and samini i, I think it was shatter and samini during those days that i saw this particular thing more Okay. When one of maybe they are at a show and maybe it's a Shatawali headlining and you start to play Samini song, you will stop. Same way with Samini, you will stop playing Shatawali song. Mm. Just that sometimes the DJs are able to pull through. You know, fans, DJs have a way of still entering into it. Yes, yeah. manipulating into the fans. So, mm. but sometimes you you have no other option than to end it. It is not something we will condone. We will just advise the musicians to be also be very cautious especially when they want to engage in some of these things and also study the environment okay. before they raise some of these records mm -hmm. yes there are records that you can't erase them the moment it is released you can't erase them from the surface of the the internet never forgets and to you it is also another form of business mm -hmm. besides people will like it or people like it so you need to perform it so if in that sense we can caution them to be mindful of the environment and to the fans as well we can only okay. tell them that Yes, you may take it to heart, which may push you to react in a certain way. But the repercussions are things that you can't, you are not guaranteed of. Because to sad day we now, a binary queen That's why you can't answer to anybody. You go in straight, and that favorite that you think you are fighting for may not even be there or available to save you, you in yeah. that instance. So we can only caution ourselves that some of these things sometimes. We should just let it fly as it comes mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. and when you also get the opportunity you use that same material which is the song that is if you have one like shatter has a uh, safe mm -hmm. and yapono has been abu mm -hmm. so also been abu aha that is one. if you also have the platform that's how we okay. i believe we should be able to do these things well um let me get chemo's opinion as well using the yapono as an example chemo well, I, I think this wasn't a good uh, scene or what happened. We can't uh, encourage it or, yeah. or, yeah, we have to condemn it. And I don't know what to push fans to go to that extent. But mm -hmm. when you watch the video carefully, I think at some point, Yapuno was also uh, engaging those who were misbehaving mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. he should be careful. I mean, it, there's he has done nothing wrong than by performing his songs mm -hmm. but sometimes you can be right but you are the one going to get hurt okay. so you have to be careful at some point you can't just say i'm right so i'll do whatever i like it doesn't work like that okay. people would know that yeah you were right but come on 
you you could have done could better have yes better. yes and i've seen this thing before i mean uh, if, in fact a practical uh, uh, example that I, i'm a witness to we were on the highway like from we were going to kumasi mm -hmm. in a vip bus okay and then the our driver was on top speed but way in front of him he saw that a uh, uh, tipper truck mm -hmm. wanted to just Bypass them. Yeah, no, wanted to just get in, in the road like that okay. without, I mean, giving way for the oh, okay, 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 bus okay, to go. It, the yeah. bus is on the high, okay, like okay. we we were going, and then, but uh, we like we were way, way back, and you, you can see that the tipper truck wants to just get in like get that, okay. and then our bus driver was just giving him horns, oh. but the guy was no still entering, still entering. and this guy. After you doing that and this guy is still entering, we were all expecting him to slow down. Mm -hmm. Slow down for him to go and then you to go. Then he said, hey, I'm right. This is my road. And said, so you do want to kill us because you are right. Do you want to kill us? This guy may be, let's take it that the guy is stupid or the guy is even mad. Because you are right, you want to hit him. And do you know what will happen if you hit his? Tipper track, and mm -hmm. this is a tipper track. Oh, and you are, and if you go the way that he wanted to do, you will hit the back, not even the head. I know. So it's like you are right. We all know that you are right, but the action that you want to take because you are right is stupid. Mm. Mm. So sometimes you can be right, but don't just enforce or try to say that I want to insist on my right when it will even hurt you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised that he wanted to even get in the crowd. A crowd throwing bottles at you. You alone. You want to get in there and do what? To achieve what? Uh, uh, what? I, I mean, it's wrong. It's wrong for him to uh, take action like that. I think he has done no wrong than to perform his song. I mean, that one, we can't take it from him. But you see, when you want to do something like that and you see that the environment won't support it, I mean, you have to advise yourself. Mm. So it's mm. it's unfortunate mm. that something like this happened. And but me, I would advise him to be careful how he react to some of these things. As for the fans, yes, I think the uh, um, security people should be vigilant now. And when it. yes, and some when something like this happens, I think they should be quick to take action or something at least to reduce it, if not to stop it. But the artist should be careful not to engage in some of this thing when it is happening and you engage like that mm. before you realize something may happen to you. Mm. We now we nobody will blame you for playing your song. If people like it, why not? But if you play and something like this will happen, then you have to consider playing it or not. Yes. So that's what I would say. Well, some words of wisdom shared to performers and sometimes some of these encounters they get on the stage. Let's all learn from it. Uh, there are some fights you don't have to start. Unfortunately, when he, I heard him saying, Shemwetro, Shemwetro, he got down and I saw him alone going with maybe some assistant V. It's not as if he had some security people around who could even go discipline him. Until you see a shell and Kawaii being so. So, we need to go to the house. No, no. We need to go to the house. We need to go to the um let's ignore some of these things as performance and just do what we are doing now let's talk about the shut up movement party for my birthday today yeah, like i was telling you um i've been celebrated in a way that i've not seen in a long while if I my birthday, if I say I don't see people wishing me on social media, then it means I'm being ungrateful. I see it. But today has been times two. Like, today has been overwhelming. Everywhere you go to, like, it's as if something has happened. Like, something is trending. That kind of vibes on. Everywhere it is like that. And interestingly, I look at my celebration. I look at some celebrities, some musicians. I see their things. Ah, but today I even did better than them. And it's because the SM people showed me love. That did not end there. Uh, in my office, they came in their numbers, presented some gifts to me, left, right, and center. And I have a feeling that 
we need to appreciate them. So um, Richie would want us to watch some videos before we <laughs> start talking. Uh, I think we, have we to should, we should talk over it. Okay, so sure. as a matter of fact, I didn't even know they were coming. I didn't know they were coming. Um, Sheila and Nijata in London told me I should just be Facebook Live with them and that they want to just talk to me Facebook Live. So I said, okay, no problem. Facebook, Facebook Live there. Uh, no problem. Yeah. So let me sit and activate my Facebook Live. We were talking. They said oh, they want to see my office, so I should go to my office. Not knowing agenda had mm -hmm. gone on here, including my workers as well. Uh, uh, they planned <laughs> cool. that I should just enter so they come and uh, just ramp onto me like uh, that. So I entered and um, fans came in, and this is what we are seeing. Um, gifts from left, right, and center. and. Mm -hmm. It is looking so beautiful. Uh, looking so beautiful. At that point, I was asking the eight. And at that time, the light was off. We were only living <laughs> <laughs> with our yes. gen. Your, your uh, privilege was taken yeah, from me. Yeah, my privilege was taken from me. We had only our gen to take care of us. And the energy around couldn't sustain it, as a matter of fact. <laughs> the energy couldn't sustain it. The way people were sweating all over. <laughs> and it was really beautiful. So all the beautiful people. Yeah. Yeah. The SM spirit. Flipping money. That is CM boss. So CM boss is flipping money yeah. like that. Yeah. You can see CM boss flipping money left, right, and center yeah. like that. Yeah, the best uh, manager. I'll 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 tell you. Uh, the, now today they say I'll be mafia manager. Yeah. They say that'll be the new name. Mm. Yes, and on top of it all, I was also presented with a cake. A uh, beautiful SM for life cake, very wow. huge like that. We had to hey. cut it into pieces. Yeah, the cake had my picture on the top. Many ninja, many ninja. The mafia manager. Yeah, the mafia manager. Cake is not the answer to this. Cake is the teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ro, how how does it make you feel? Um, well, being a part of such a family. It feels it feels beautiful. It feels beautiful. Now, if if uh, every year there are certain dates that I look out for, mm -hmm. like there are certain dates that has some special happenings. <laughs> they are one that come with intercontinental <laughs> ballistic <laughs> missile. <Don't go> there. <laughs> that one is there. Don't go and, there. And we have special <laughs> day, we have special days like like this, like mm -hmm. this particular one. In fact, for for the past four or five years, mm -hmm. any time it is twenty seventh and I see the way people mm -hmm. shower praises. It is not about celebrating or wishing you a happy birthday no yeah. it is not just about celebrating a year on but then like the the appreciation i see them as appreciation mm -hmm. posts mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. of them mm -hmm. most of them so sometimes when i wake up and i would want to post my cry and i go online and i see people I say, hey oh, and they say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so sometimes i even struggle in posting or wishing you because Charlie, mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. when I see the other ones on online and I can just the imagine, should shine. I I yes I I just imagine the ones that are also coming on your mm -hmm. phone. Mm -hmm. I I I am my heart is just filled and it gives me that sense of motivation that yes you can one day also wake up and mm -hmm. on your special day people will show you this kind of love and yeah. it is all about just learning from the best or somebody who has done it and is showing you the way that okay this is how it is done when you do a b c d and you you are able to touch lives like this it will get to a point that you will also be saved yeah that is that is the last motivation that yeah. i i pick from this that yes but you are seven and because he has saved because when you check through all the messages he has paid his dues he has risen mm -hmm. through the ranks. Mm -hmm. He has done this. He has done that. Mm -hmm. You realize that this is a life of service yeah. that he has given to people. And it is just they are paying back, they are paying back in whether in mm -hmm. kind or mm -hmm. even in words or in appreciation. And yeah. it feels good. It feels good. I mean, so I, I sometimes I wonder how you are able to hold up. Because some of the things, me say if I see, I go like, hey, a good old man coming soon. Let's <laughs> get a crying party. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but today a crime party. It, feel, yeah, it feels good. It feels good, and yeah, and uh, I would also want to use this opportunity mm. to 
to wish you and say God richly bless Amen. you for Amen. for affecting lives like yeah. like that. In fact, we pray for long life because the more you live, the more you are able to even affect That's more, right. whether directly or indirectly. Fact, May God richly fact, bless fact, you. Fact, fact. Thank you. Yes, Chebu. Uh, yeah. You see, for me, I'm not really happy on uh, heavy, <laughs> heavy yeah. on birthday, birthday like yeah, that. No. I mean, uh, sometimes I make slow, but <laughs> when it happens like i will see people celebrating doing their stuff and uh, because I, i'm not heavy on it like that mm -hmm. I, honestly when it happens i don't really know what to do mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. if it is me or anybody closer to me i don't know to what to my mind to read the uh, the uh, birthday yeah. or what yeah. to write or uh, yeah i struggle no, with I that, with that uh, yeah. Some people have it. yeah yeah i struggle with that uh, but i'll take this opportunity to say uh, happy birthday Thank to you, you. and you. what is happening i think you deserve it you, you have mm -hmm. paid your dues as roland said and mm. in fact for me i see uh, your managerial uh, uh, journey as mm -hmm. a new chapter in, mm. in things that you, you want to impact yeah. to, to others and, and we can see them happening. Mm -hmm. like you are on your way doing something that I think very soon people will start pointing to mm -hmm. what you have done and say now see how Sammy Flex is been handling uh, management like yeah. managing an artist mm -hmm. these are some of the things that you have to do and you you are doing something that uh, managers as we know them they don't do it yeah so it's either it will be so good that people will say do it as Sammy Flex will do it or okay okay Sammy Flex way is not the best way to handle mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. but time will tell for me I think so far so good you are doing something that people are watching from afar those who wish you all the best and even those who wish that it will come to an end for them mm -hmm. to say oh we said it, yeah, we said it. Uh, you will still make an impact you exactly. will still make your mark mm -hmm. and so far so good for me and i think uh, i wish you all the best i mean thank more you. more will come oh, definitely thank you. yeah thank you yes so to all shut up movement empire people i want to say i appreciate you guys uh, most especially to the boss of the empire that is shut up wale himself i'm sure he set the tone well, when I woke up around seven that way, I saw his post mm. uh, telling the world that you guys all should go show love Trouble. to him. Yeah, yeah. Trouble, bro. 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 Uh, that you guys all should go show love to him for his dedication, his loyalty to the empire. And I said, well, if the man has said it there, why not? It means the fans are all going to go all out. And indeed, it was beautiful. I thank everybody. It is a Tuesday, so I want to take it cool. Mm -hmm. I wish it had fallen on a Saturday or oh, Friday. Uh, Friday, then. Kabbalah, and then. Uh, ka, and then. Uh, Kashu, I jumped up. Kabbalah, I'm going to go But it is what it is. So mm -hmm. let's keep it calm like this until we meet again. But oh. No, but, but Friday. Oh, another one too came. Eh? Uh, this is the fruit uh, party. <laughs> no, but Friday, Saturday, the party. Is, is all will happen, uh, will happen. Uh, <laughs> so yes, the, uh, the yes 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 the number <laughs> is on the screen <laughs> in fact it will happen it is ah, not because, oh i get what you mean uh, yeah it is, so it is tuesday it more is, love yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, show okay, more love okay, because okay, okay. it is weekday so we Most can't yes ah. it is weekday so we can't do certain things but on friday saturday yeah, yeah man it is the flat gate but this open. weekend is even easter weekend uh -huh. yeah. so this one there it's your man Catfish party, uh, exactly. I was saying, Basso, I was saying, Basso, I was saying, Basso, no shaking. Yeah. Okay, now let's move on to another business. And I want to believe Roland might have some more information than I do because today I've not gotten time to do more <laughs> research. As a matter of fact, it's about bongo ideas. Bongo ideas. Finally, we are hearing that he's found his phone. <laughs> <laughs> like some people were saying, we are waiting for Sammy Flex to find his dark shades and yeah, two watches. Two wrist watches. <laughs> you come and explain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah see, I went and before, I remember her two. I remember her two. Because watches in the door, so. Shade is a door. I'm going to go back to the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, my jacket. What is it? Ah, that will change the MP. I'm going to say, ah. Change the MP. I'm going to say, ah. I'm going to say, ah. Uh, I'm going to say, ah. So, um bongo ideas i hear was built for an interview on onya tv and onya fm with captain smart but for whatever reason 
I hear the interview did not even happen at all. But uh, away from that, um, he's out writing some of the things that happened to him when he was arrested or when he was caught up by some people. And whilst others are believing the story, some people are also doubting the story. And uh, my producer would want that. Why did he write this? Which of the platforms did he write this? Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. On his stories? No, he posted it on his page. Hey, his yeah, Instagram page. Pan. Yo, uh, five pages. Okay, so let me Come read. Pa. It says, on the dawn of Thursday, March 14th, 2024, around 2 to 3 a.m., while I was just dozing off in my couch, a group of suspected police <laughs> officials <laughs> invaded my home. Immediately, the entire household and some tenants in the house woke up to ask for their mission okay, they blatantly refused to answer them and move straight to my door to break in hey. <laughs> they banged in the first door thunderously and eventually broke it open with full combat force i woke up abruptly to check what was happening there and then i was hit in the face so hard pinned to the floor knees on my back and neck like george floyd <laughs> and i was cuffed I asked what my crime was and the reply I received was three heavy slaps from the supposed officers who were brandishing a rifle and pistols. E. Hmm. They dragged me back into my bedroom, ransacked it hurriedly, then took my iPhone 12 Pro Max, MacBook uh, Pro 2020 Mi, my MTN TurboNet router, iTel YAM phone, and all my IDs, including my Ghana card, Visa card, voters ID, and NHIA card. All my charges were also taken. In a Rambo style, I was dragged like a wanted fugitive into a minivan that looked like a police vehicle with no number plates. Is that all, Richie? Yeah. Oh, there are some more. Okay, bring the rest and... Um, Let's continue reading. Aha. Uh -huh. So let's start. It says, When the household requested for which station they were taking me to, they reluctantly said central. Further questions from the fear-stricken crowd were ignored. Immediately, I was pushed into the vehicle. I was blindfolded and a cover was put over my head. Then I was subjected to to severe physical abuse by these men who then revealed to, to men or to me okay who then revealed to me subtly that they weren't sanctioned police officers wow one of them said verbatim you are very stupid for insulting my mother and you pay for it with your life when you look at me do I look like an ordinary police officer I mustered courage and asked who his mother was he went berserk and reacted instantly by slapping me on the face multiple times and hitting me in the abdomen i let out a yelp of pain the car traveled for a while and a call came purportedly asking them to take a detour i was then told they i was then told that they were taking me to a river to put bullets in my head and dump me mm. one of the men said let's just finish him off here and dump his body into the water but no one will even notice. I was told to say my final words as they pointed the erect pistols to my head. I went blank. After the men paced up and down for a while contemplating on what to do to me, when I'm eventually rendered lifeless, they somehow decided to put me back in the car. Hmm. I see. <laughs> uh, what an interesting story. Mm. They said to me, that they would be taking me to the northern region where i'll be killed and be buried silently without a trace one said in three we would add you to the accident victims and bury you in mass i was then transported to an unknown location where i was carelessly pushed up a flight of stairs while still blindfolded and in cuffs i hit my head against the pillars several times one of the men said in three, Commander, we have brought him. The commander asked me to kneel and reveal my passwords. I refused and once again, I received blows to my face, 
kicks to my tummy and slaps to my back. I finally succumbed. I asked that my items be given to me after they were done with the search because I have nothing incriminating on them. The reply I sharply got was whether I wanted my items back or I wanted my life back and I said both. Subsequently, I was taken out and down and then put in a different car other than the van that brought me. I was taken to another unknown location still in cuffs and blindfolded. After some minutes of a rough ride, I was given to another set of unknown individuals who took me to a room and locked me up. Hey. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> After hours of being cuffed at the back, the metal started eating into my flesh and I was feeling excruciating pain. I asked that the cuffs be made more flexible and that they should take me to the law court and charge me if I had committed any crime. Nobody was present to answer me, I realized. Due to the bad stench in the room, I threw up a couple of times. I could not sit nor stand. I leaned. I was sweating profusely with my face swollen like a thief who had been subjected to mob violence. I laid on my side in that cold room for more than eight hours. I only heard distant chatter and approaching footsteps. Nobody said anything to me or told me why I was there. At a point, I feared for my life considering the fact that I was cuffed and powerless bundled into a room and blindfolded and didn't know if i were a sacrificial lamb being taken to the slaughter house later on i was picked up like a log and put in another vehicle this vehicle drove for a short while and then i was given to a new set of individuals these individuals dragged me by the collar of my shirt and pushed me into their car a new cover was put over my blindfolded face which made it difficult for me to catch some breath. I suffocated silently. Mm, bongo a breath. Oh. <laughs> hmm, let's continue reading it. I sat in the middle of two men at the rear who pinched my legs to the carpet of the car with what felt like guns. My knees were hit from time to time as we journeyed. They said no word and the interior of the car felt like a Toyota V8 or an SUV. These men drove me for over 30 minutes until they got to their destination. Then I was brought out and pushed into a room. A man came to give me further instructions and warnings. He said, why do you insult the president of the country? A small boy like you, <laughs> it, it reminds me of crime mm -hmm. officer. <laughs> a small boy like you should not have the audacity to criticize the president if the economy is not working does it call for insults all your other friends will also be picked up and be disciplined in due time then one of his boys subjected me to immense physical torture by hitting my handcuffs with a stick until they became numb wow my sl more slaps followed with every word that he said my shin was hit until it started to bleed then the hot words continued he was like how much have you taken from their position how much has mahama and the ndc paid you to publish what you publish tell us now mention their names i had no answers for them and that exacerbated my plight i was beaten to a near pop then i was taken back into the vehicle hmm. um <laughs> interesting story indeed it was some of the true story. Yeah, tell you. They got out, switched off the AC, and closed the door. The heat in the car made me shout for help. I was literally losing my breath. All this while, I was still cuffed and blindfolded. Then one of the men suggested that I be dropped at an unknown place at night. A new suggestion to drive me around for hours was, was rather taken. I asked where I were, and one said, you are somewhere in the eastern region. Subsequently, the cuffs were removed. My swollen wrist and hands hung loosely. I was then tied up again with a rope at the back and pushed into the car. After several minutes of ride, I was brought out and abandoned 
in a forest near a path. They drove off speedily. I shook, nodded my head vigorously until the blindfold started to loosen up. They had taken the cover of the blindfold, so it took me nearly a minute or so for it to drop off my face and mm. eyes. I saw light for the first time since dawn. I then picked up a stone to cut the rope. Mm. No, first stone or cut here. Mm. After all, Uncle Finn, uh -huh. I said they um, tied me at my back. back. Mm. Uh, with the rope, a bit easy for you to pick a stone yes. from your back. Mm. Okay. Let's because when you cough now, a bit me out you mm. don't. Okay. Do anything. They had taken off the blanket, so it took me near. I said I then picked up a stone to cut the rope. Mm. It was an effort in futility, but I persisted until it cut. A good Samaritan, an Okada rider, felt pity judging by my state and brought me back home. He gave me his helmet and made me sleep on his back while I pointed out the direction to him. He later revealed to me that where I was dropped off by the kid kidnappers was Boteman race course. I see. Um, this is the last paragraph, I guess. Mm. A day after, I went to the Sotum police station to file a report and to write a statement. My family had already done that after visiting all police stations and not finding me the day before. I was subsequently admitted to the hospital. The police are currently investigating the incident, so I'd like to keep the details thereof <laughs> from the public. All the logins to my social media handles have been compromised and changed. The passwords to my iCloud, Google, and Twitter accounts have been altered, so I can't log in. Also, I had to get a police extract in order to get a Ghana card replacement. So to get my SIM card back, which ultimately helped me to log into my Instagram and Facebook accounts. I'm working to get my Twitter and Google account back. But in the meantime, my new Twitter <laughs> handle is Bongo Ideas 247 Thanks for your kind concern as I strive to make full recovery. Back again as soon as I can. Ghana is not safe. Albert Nathaniel Ni Okai Tete Aid Bongo Ideas. I feel Bongo. I feel Bongo. I love his writing. That's one thing I love about him. The articulation. The way he writes well and the articulation at some point. Shabu? Yeah. What's happening? Ghana is not safe. That as for that one, I agree with him people and this is not the first time somebody is accusing the police or the security service of doing something like that mm -hmm. so i mean based on uh, what has happened already i think what he's saying is nothing new mm. if you talk in a way that some people are not happy with you you can go through this mm -hmm. so even if he's lying uh, this thing is nothing new or this is not something that we have not heard before okay i i think the write-up i mean i can say some uh, um scenes mm -hmm. through the write-up uh, it seems a bit exaggerated but um i i am tempted to believe him like 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 which of the scenes do you think was exaggerated? like with the guns on his in the car, oh, like Jamo, that's after uh, that's that's easy, easy, no, easy, easy after car. being handcuffed, like yeah, they want mm, you know mm, you are not with, safe. Mm. With the, they were sitting with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. yeah, that one there you can. That with, one is easy. With car. even the blindfold. And yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one is easy. Nice, easy crap. We are intimidating you. Yeah. That one is easy so car. if for me, I believe him. Mm -hmm. That's the point. Like I believe him, and based on what he has done. And what some people can do to you in this country, mm -hmm. I'm I'm not surprised that something like this is happening okay, to him. Okay. Me, I, I I disagree with the people saying that he's lying or he's not telling. No, 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 mm -hmm. no. I think if he wants to go through a certain line, as we know him, uh, there's a better way than going through this way because it is easy for you to be in trouble if you go this way. Yeah. I mean, if let's say he's lying, mm -hmm. police can arrest him, 
it will be difficult for him to prove anything yeah. and they will imprison him for nothing mm. Mm. meanwhile there's a better way for him to even and stage then. things if he mm -hmm. wants by going through this way and telling the story the way he's telling it it is so easy for him to be in trouble and i think he's intelligent enough not to go through this yeah. direction if he wants to lie to have his mm. way or something mm. Mm. so we are for me i believe him and especially at the time that the whole family or somebody in the family uh, did that broadcast to the bloggers uh -huh. me for me i think it's, it was a good move whoever did that uh, did the right thing okay. i mean based on what he's saying that thing saved him mm. because after the bloggers also pushing it out there obviously the kidnappers at this time in code if you have to give them a name knew that yes now people know that they somebody uh, has taken him yeah. and we are looking for him yeah. so if you do anything to him it will be a matter of time mm -hmm. we, will, we will catch you mm. That mm. one we will catch you. Fact. Yes. Yeah, so I think some intelligent guy among them, or somebody who was thinking, will, will be like Charlie, where the thing is going. If anything happens to this guy, we will be in trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, besides, uh, this may not be an official. Sign. In fact, it wasn't an official sanctioned no, uh, assignment. Uh, assignment. Yeah. Even if it were the police people, mm -hmm. it wasn't official. That's why some people who just decided they decided to, show, to power. show power. Yes, yeah. that kind of stuff, and uh, it happened to him. I think we what we can learn from it is that yes, Ghana is not safe because of that. Be where, be careful what you what say you do, yeah, or what you do online or mm -hmm. even offline. Just mm -hmm. be careful mm -hmm. because if somebody can take the law into their own hands and do whatever they want until. Mm -hmm we somebody will say that no i won't allow this to happen or nothing will happen to those who are doing that i okay. remember in uh kofo first uh assembly with the people i think 2000 late 2004 early 2005 mm -hmm. kofo did uh like gathering of people and yeah, then that, that, that and they gave assembly. people a chance that you can ask him any question there was one guy called Doctor Asemfufro or something. Yes, I remember uh -huh. this. The guy came up and I remember the story. And then told Kufo that if you have not chopped Ghana money, uh, curse yourself or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Mekai. 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 Curse yourself or something like Mekai. that. Mekai. After asking that question, I offer you a time be your corner. The guy came back to tell his story. Uh -huh. The way some police people beat them no, for, <laughs> for the back <bad> there. <laughs> and I'm not sure Kofo will tell the police people eh, go and beat this guy or something like that. Mm -hmm. Somebody who loves Kofo Keke will feel that you are disrespecting him and mm -hmm. they, all, they, all, they have to uh, give some sense to you. And they will handle you anyhow. Mm -hmm. And I think the same thing is what is happening to. Uh, uh, Bungo ideas. I don't mm -hmm. think uh, uh, a or his wife, His Excellency Kufuado and mm -hmm. his wife, they will not uh, instruct any uh, security service or to whatever go to go and arrest. arrest or do anything to the guy. Mm -hmm. But some people somewhere feel that uh, they respect uh, uh, the Kufuado so much that you can't disrespect him like mm -hmm. that. And what he wrote on online, we all saw it. Yeah, it wasn't in a good taste. Mm -hmm. So some people may take the law into their own hands and uh, sometimes misbehave in court uh, like in, in, in this manner. So for me, I think the lesson that we have to take from this is that be careful what you do or what you say, especially in Ghana here, because we are not safe like that. Well, thank you. Ro, <laughs> bongo ideas. Uh, such a story. In fact, at the point, I was being careful to believe what was being written because yeah. um, remember an account being misled us making us believe it was bongo it was ideas, bongo ideas. Like yeah, 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 yeah later it came out that it wasn't it wasn't ideas. well me so this morning when you said i said is it official yeah then richie also personally asked that personally even when i chanced this particular post online i had to go back to his official handles to yeah. verify mm -hmm. and i realized that they were there mm. before i even took the account seriously mm. now to the story that he narrated if it is with this, then we can say the whole world nowhere is safe. Mm. 
that one there, then it is general, it is not only in Ghana. Because as far as I'm concerned, if you're a what I'm free, Jack Ma. Mm. <laughs> Jack Ma, you're right. Then if it is in that sense, then nowhere is safe. Because this thing can happen to anybody, anywhere. There are certain people that would want to take the law into their own hands before, because they have... But for Jack Ma issue, uh, we can say it's official. Uh, but I'm yeah. saying that, anywhere... It's official, like Chinese government just took him. And I'm yes, you don't know where they have where they've him. taken him. And yes, I'm so saying that, that one is official. and I'm saying that it can happen to anybody anywhere. There are certain people that may have some level of resources that would even want to take power into their own hands, and they will do it. They will do it depending on the affiliations they have, and probably they may you may not have any like there's nothing you can do about it, or anybody can do about it. They can just waste you for nothing. And as it stands, even if this is the security service they have both released a statement that they are not part of it. So obviously this is not a properly sanctioned and official sanctioned uh, operation for them to have done. And again, so we can't treat this as coming from the agency. Me, that is what I would want. I want to see this one. And again, to his story, the, the narration, I also feel, yes, even if I would want to believe him, I would not be quick to believe him like that. Even if I would want to believe him, I feel there are certain scenes and narrations in the story that I feel were exaggerated, like the meetings, like this. Which of the meetings? All of them. So okay. this no no wait 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 wait. Maybe maybe maybe. Nya nya butle nya butle maybe. Me wait. Let me land before. Okay. You see the. That's the great divorce. Now I'm going to go. Baby, me can't so man bono. Baby, me can't so man bono. Ah, now I say. Me can't so man bono. Check when the meeting started. Uh huh. Right from his bedroom. Yes. And me. Me 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 she kama kunto kwada. So me me fu not tower sumo a ohu. But the level of slap or narrative from the house through to the car through to the three places that he was being locked up mm -hmm. and the number of slaps that he chopped, uh -huh. I would not be surprised. And can you hear me just said that in here? I would say it is true. But I have ah. seen him. No, I was I, 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 he went to the police station. After that meeting, uh, after weird. that meeting, he, he described as beating near to pop, lifeless. And we know what those words mean. He didn't say lifeless. Oh, uh, we yeah, can, we can, near. near. No, but near to pop doesn't mean. No, but we know what near to pop means, especially if we make chemo meba. Especially if we want it to go by. Because you exaggerate. If we, uh huh, that's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. But I am, uh -huh. but I will not uh -huh. negate. That no, I'm not negating. I didn't say I am negating what he's saying. I am saying that even if I would want to believe him, I think some of the narration narrations. Are exaggerations, of course. And okay. I don't make up. I don't make up. Even, if, even if he was tortured, mm -hmm. or even if he was touched, mm -hmm. it is not as he is describing. Because per what he is, the, he just described there. If he was in that manner, the following day not by, he would never have the strength to go to the police station to file a report. Mm -hmm. Even the police, the first thing they will not even allow you to go to a private hospital. They will take you straight to the police hospital. That's the first place they will they will they will refer you to. You understand? So me, I am being careful with the narrations that he is narrating because if it is even with that beating alone, of which he has started and you see not long ago, I say we see me can I see a indeed three weeks ago, he's granted an interview to a friend saying D W, mm -hmm. um D W Bella. Yes, D W News. Mm -hmm. he, yes, in the documentary where he was wearing a nose mask. Look, it is trending online. I'm going to just have the car both. You said the, the purpose of that documentary, Kabungu was not fit for that conversation because he's a cyber bully. And they were talking about people who are criticizing government mm -hmm. who have landed in trouble and they added Bungo ideas to it. That's one of the response. Yes, the, and he was wearing the most mask. I mean, that's most mask. The narration of the main media and how they do their mm -hmm. things. Uh huh. So, 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 me, so, me, yeah. I am talking about 
the description of meetings that he narrated here and how i saw him making that narration like telling his story he already told his story before this particular one so i i was just looking at him in that video looking all through yes so me no especially most of the meetings that he took were to his face oh. yeah most of the meetings that he took were to his face from the house ah that's i mean from the house i am expecting the real castle the first thing that i the first place that my eyes will picture will be his forehead i see baby cry piano or steps the first place the first place that my eyes will look at if you tell me you've hit your head to pillars is you will be your forehead because when i go with him and this boy had no bruises or cuts in the space of two weeks on his forehead. I mean, yes, I will not dispute the fact that he was tortured. That I am not there, so I will not say he's lying. Mm. But the exaggeration and in this short period of time do not correlate for me. I feel there are certain things that he's exaggerating in there. Yeah, yes, sure. that I can't say. Yeah, yeah, moon because I am not there. I am not in his body. Who pinching the crown? Because any, any, yeah. But then the way he was said, he like he said he was beaten to near pop. That's I mean we know, and you are saying it. Even, you are even describe some cause of no bear someone for somebody that is angry, like he's saying for insulting my mother for you doing this. Ah, how terrible! They they will learn. Can I say something more to you? Of course, and. If it is per the meeting that he described, in the space of two weeks, he will still be admitted at the hospital. I tell you, mm. he will not get the strength to come home. And we know how Bungo idea, like in terms of body stage eyes. Mm. He is not somebody that we say he even has tough skin like meat one who I can say if you are DJ Bunny we did not that or no. This is somebody that is lightweight. We will talk to that. Ah, he will fill into this capillary said that please. <laughs> <laughs> Tell that lady the obedient. <laughs> but then I I would not wish this even on my worst enemy. Yeah. Because an experience yeah, where who, DWTV featured him in a documentary talking about people criticizing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe they were giving wrong information. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So mm -hmm. you don't do a background check of the uh, that, people that, that, that's my shock. Mm -hmm. That's my shock. So if you were even misled, what checks did you also do exactly to, to come up with the right people? Exactly. And when you check what what the picture? So uh -huh. there's this place part of look like somebody that has no, been to the airport. Telling exaggerated story, I am with you uh -huh. 100%. So me but something like this happening so to me, somebody I like Bongo uh -huh. yes. I, I can't I, I can't write him off yeah. totally to say he was not taken or he was not touched that I am not there but then the exaggerations in this particular narration me I can feel about 50% of it is exaggerations in Kwan exaggerations in Kwan because some of the narrations even in the house self from when he was picked self there are certain things that are imaginary mm -hmm. of okay when they entered into the house the people started because he started narrating things outside before they got to him yeah and there is no way and to him he he also gave an account of him sleeping in his couch there is no way there is no way you can be i can be in this room mm -hmm. and give a proper account mm -hmm. of even interactions outside there is no way unless maybe he came home and they told him and even in that sense he should have stated that oh during that time this and that is what they told me but he narrated the story like he saw everything as a commander mm -hmm. and in that stage of confusion when you are taken outside it takes some of the toughest mind for your mind to be calm and pay attention to the details around you it takes some of the toughest minds so me I wouldn't write him off entirely to say he was not touched or he was not taken. But in this particular narration, the exaggeration, I see about 50% of it. So I would want to tone down my belief, my belief for this particular story until the facts are properly established. Mm -hmm. Maybe the Okada guy that brought him, where he found him, how he found him, the state, the state of which he found him. 
they were around uh, Botiman, I think uh, Spintex final. So I know one Botiman around the Spintex, Spintex side. I don't know say, if it is around that side. Okay. So in, in that sense, and also when he said he went straight to the Sultan police station, maybe some of the people there that he... But the Sultan police station is confirmed. Yes. Uh -huh. But the state, to me the state he is he is describing that he was in. Because of by an Adichinadichian or poor police station, you know. So, bandages. And we know how our hospitals can bandage wounds in this country. You know, I'm going to say, they can bandage you for the 21st century. You understand? So, these are some of the accounts from some of these people that will make my belief in the story complete. Mm -hmm. Else, I will just want to ease up in believing okay. all of the story. All right, so like, like okay, Jemo, you want to? The DW TV thing, it didn't shock me, pal. <laughs> uh, no, no, that, that, that was a lousy production, uh, didn't it? A lousy production, that's how I call it, mm -hmm. that's it. Um, let's do this finally to run away from here. <laughs> it's about the opening and the closing of the All oh, African okay, Games. Okay and the stories that came with it the mm -hmm. trends that came with it performances of shatawale king promise um pat thomas the good old ebo taylor and uh, for the viala. opening and the uh, closing viala stone boy and some other african artists and the stories around it the good and the bad and the benefits for our industry um Chemo, we can close up with this and um richie can show us some photos if yeah, yeah some of them um uh, in fact one area that i would want us to look for a uh, look at is the uh, near comparison between stone boy chatawale and that conversation that was online <laughs> I, 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 I mean the the last day like the closing the yes the trending came in mm -hmm. but it wasn't that strong like the stone boy and then the chatawale comparison i think for some reason for some reasons uh -huh. some people killed it fast mm. like they just from the onset they said that no you can't compare you this can't compare, yes yeah, yeah. i mean if you want to compare there are so many things that you have to ignore mm. like the timing mm -hmm. somebody performing for four minutes uh -huh. and somebody performing for ten over, ten over ten minutes like how oh, stone boy was over ten mm. minutes. Yeah, so how are you going to compare the two i mean mm -hmm. stone boy did in fact, you can't even count the song. A mm -hmm. lot of them. Mm. Like sometimes after a minute, you cut in and then bring a new one and all that. So for that one, you can't compare. Again, even on stage, like Stone Boy came in with his uh, uh, people dancers yeah. and yeah. Yeah. even a featured artists. A featured artists, mm -hmm. and there were so many things. That, that was on the Modu Black. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so 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 for me, I think you can't compare the two. But if I have to be general about each other's performance. I mm -hmm. think they did well. Mm -hmm. Stone Boy did his best. Mm -hmm. I mean, those who love him, they are praising him for what he did. Exactly. Those who will not be happy will not be happy with him. Mm -hmm. The same thing with Shata Wale. Mm -hmm. I mean, those who are happy with Shata will be happy exactly. regardless. And those who are not happy will not be happy. Mm -hmm. The unfortunate, the unfortunate part is that those who are not happy with Shata Wale, they, they are loud. Mm. so mm. they were so loud that that's what you will hear mm -hmm. and that's what really happened we, in, in the case of uh, stone boy we don't really have somebody who is so loud and against stone boy yeah then similar thing would have happened mm. 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 that's it i mean so i think they all did their best and it's, it's a matter of uh, what the person watching sees you know artists in general is subjective to yeah. some extent yeah. so if you love it somebody closer to you may say oh me they i don't love it but the other person oh me i love it this is good and all that so i think in general the the organizers did the best thing for the the the, the games mm -hmm. choosing stone boy and shatawale at this time is, is the best that you can get yeah so placing one from the beginning just to kind of mm -hmm. energy mm -hmm. was the best mm -hmm. and then again bringing stone boy at the end just to also give people more like a farewell uh, mm -hmm. kind of party yeah. yes it's also good mm -hmm. so i think in general they all did their best and i think it's good for the industry 
and, and it's also good for even the organizers of the game. I think people will praise them for doing a good work there. Okay. Like selecting the right people to perform. Mm, mm. I think Riala too wasn't bad. She mm -hmm. she did uh, her best. Mm -hmm. In uh, she was in her element, giving us all the energy that you can get from somebody like Riala. Mm. So she also did her best, and I think yes, we should praise all of them. They 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 did what they could. I mean, if you say that somebody didn't do well, then we are looking at what the person did on stage and the reaction that uh, it, it will come after that yeah. maybe uh, they, they were not able to sing or something went wrong and they fall down or something like but nothing like that happened mm. they mm. all did their song that you know mm. they did it to the best of their knowledge or the best of their ability mm -hmm. and some people enjoyed it so also they were sing Mm -hmm. It's because you just don't want that person to be good. That's yeah. all. If mm -hmm. you don't want the person to be good, my, my Michael Jackson Benye performance. Oh, like I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like that. I mean, those who were criticizing Shatawale, for instance, they were asked, okay, at what point will you say that Shata did well? Or what is his positive? In fact, mm -hmm. they, they couldn't say anything. I know. Just, okay, he didn't do well. He was shaking. He didn't have any confidence. Whatever. Okay. What was his positive? Nothing happened. The the only positive is that he he deserved to be on the platform. Come on. That that's that's <laughs> not that's not the positive of him mm, because mm. he has that ability already. He, he, otherwise, they won't even call him. Mm, mm. They won't even call him to the stage. The Oman gang of Fred Aguayan and Zenibu um, AYP, AYP. <laughs> <laughs> because at that moment they don't think that AY for you fits was fit for, for the state yeah so if they have chosen somebody fit for the state you can't say that that's the positive because he is fit for the state no mm -hmm. we are talking about his performance on the day mm -hmm. and the obviously it means or uh, um they will be a behind an effect it's subjective like that and the same thing will happen to stone boy there will be some people who will criticize stone boy on any day if you give them the chance True. but unfortunately for them unfortunately for stone boy they mm -hmm. don't have that loud mouth to say it into a mobile can or movie or social media or whatever and it will not go anywhere but unfortunately for Shatawali, there are some people who uh, have um, no uh, opportunity to say it. Um, and it to to yeah, that, that's <laughs> what it is. And so for me, I think in general, it went well and they all did their best. So yeah, kudos to them and then the organizers to ask for that one. I think they, they got it right. Okay, Ro, close the show for us. Well, for Thank me, you. I picked so many positives in mm -hmm. on this particular two events than than negative. Mm -hmm. You realize that most of the people that were comparing one performance to the other, mm -hmm. per their own parameters, were based on their subjective feelings and based on the fact that okay, they have a bias towards this section. That is what their comparison was based on. Mm -hmm. In fact, I was looking at, I, I am looking forward to a comparison when you say, okay, as soon as he was given 10 minutes, mm -hmm. or Benteng was given 10 minutes, this person was able to do 2 minutes or 5 minutes, this person was able to complete his 10 minutes. Then, to me, you are making a very reasonable comparison. Mm -hmm. But in two different situations, two different production. In fact, yes, even though it is an opening and a closing for the same, for uh, let's say, a sporting activity, these are two different levels of production, which carried two different directions. Mm. The purpose of mm. was was for was for the All African Games, so, yeah. but the direction was completely different for the two performances. for the two events. Okay, okay the direction okay, yeah. was like very very different. Mm. Mm. The choice of artists would even tell you the direction. The whole event production stage and everything set up, we should even tell you. Let's look at the artists that were built to perform, even on the opening. Shatter, uh, Pat Thomas, Ebo Taylor, King and Ken Thomas. Thomas. Uh, These are Impella, four. One Nigerian yeah, and, South and South African. South African yeah. Four Ghanaian artists were built to perform. Let's check the genre and the kind of representation that these four Ghanaian artists have mm -hmm. in, in our music space. Mm. You understand? It showed and even the display of culture on the day. 
there were so many things that they displayed on the day that they were looking for selling to a, a certain direction they even created people who were supposed fishermen mm -hmm. and all those cultural pickers yeah. in there so you can clearly see that the artistic direction even for the opening ceremony was different that of the closing ceremony also had a different direction this is one that we have finished the event and we just needed a bank to close it mm -hmm. which is why they didn't permit the last performer to go as far as 10 minutes mm -hmm. because as at that time we are done as at that time there's nothing at stake again but for the opening ceremony the following day they they had to dismantle everything that they've set up even at the venue so the games could begin yeah. even before the opening ceremony some of the games had even begun so yeah. the venue was even scarce yeah for some of the games so in terms of these two comparisons you can't use that to measure the performance of artists okay unless they were given the same time so mm. if you want to compare that of Ken promise and shatawali because they were given the same time fine and even that oneself, you would have to consider the times that they were even performing. Okay. And when or their purpose, mm -hmm. the kind of props that were added into it. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. me, my happiness in this particular project was the fact that such a huge stage was erected in our, on our land and our people represented. There are so many events that have happened in other people's countries that we, they call other people, other nationals to come and perform. Mm -hmm. it has happened to us in ghana where even on our own stage people from different countries come and take chunks of the money away That's they awesome. get the lion's share of the stage it happens here in ghana but right from global citizen festival afro nation global citizen festival and even to this we still had majority of our people represented and that is a huge happiness for me even from our music side it is not about whether this person performed good, this person, that comparison there. Nobody will win. Because the one from the opposite side would never understand. Yeah, so with that comparison there, let's not start. Mm -hmm. And again, me, I wish that the real event brains in this country will have a voice and start educating people on some of these instances. When it happens like this, you don't see them, you don't hear from them. That is my pain that is my pain because when some of these things happen with regards to music contracts and how people breach contracts and everything some of these conversations we see some of them come when it hap when it comes to artists and their psyche and their psychological breakdown and everything we see some experts like psychologists and even doctors making a voice but in the event space when some of these conversations come up we need education of people who can say oh this event the opening is different from the closing because even the stage setup the art direction this and that is different so people would learn it is not just about coming to pick a side but it is just for a purpose of education so the people would know that oh okay so this is even the reason why they needed such an artist for the opening and such an artist for the closing, the closing yeah it is not just because oh stop boy shatawali they are big artists in ghana so we have to pick them and put one here put one there no they have a direction and it's an artistic direction if you don't have that technical brain there's no way you will see it mm -hmm. and these are some of the educations that i would wish the likes of george quay nabil and all those guys who are practitioners in this particular active practicing would make a voice in some of these conversations so it can educate and it shouldn't only be about times when you feel they are passing through your doorstep or it is pinching you that is when you find your voice because some of these things if we leave them that is where you see people making ignorant comments online and as, at the end as, of the day as, as and at the end of the day some people will buy into it as education mm -hmm. if the best is not available the available becomes the best mm -hmm. so that is what people are going to feed on and if people are going to feed on ignorant comments it wouldn't help us even the practitioners in the space so I mean, the positives is that our people represented and all of them were able to make ghana really proud not even a single of them failed the, my downside is are people not the practitioners not speaking to some of these ignorance comparison hovering around our species no incentives
<laughs> energy and fun. <laughs> well, um, I'm sure on this note, we have to uh, bring down the curtains for today's show here on Samiflex TV. And for information, if it is your first time here, we do this every evening um, from Monday to Friday. We want you to be a part of it. Subscribe to us and let's do some more. And let me also say thanks to Intimdo de Solomon. His other name is Chamo, who is in the middle seat. And he is our online manager here at Flex Entertainment Limited. Also, Intimdo Su Digital Solutions. Take care of your monetization streaming for you online. Roland Amate is from Shut Up Movement Empire, Shag Z, and from Roland Report on YouTube and RolandReport.com. Behind the scenes, Digital Rasta is called Currency, who did our camera for us, which Flex is the editor director of the show. So on the screens, even before we say goodbye, is the Shut Up Movement cake that was given to, oh, that's the, the is it mm. a cake or the glass? It's the oh, cake. That's the cake, okay. Uh, it's the cake that was yeah. given to us. Hey, wow. Cake in the is And then my one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, the cake really has a story. With love from Shutter Movement. And the, I love the way the Shutter Movement logo came out bold and strong. Baga, yeah. Yeah, I hear the lady who did the cake is also an M S M lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you need a cake designed like this for yeah, someone yeah. special, contact yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, her name is Nancy. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy the general. Nancy, Nancy the general. The dreadlock lady. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she's also a promoter of Shatter yeah, Movement yeah. songs. So far, so very good. You guys, I'm grateful. And remember that I really appreciate everything you guys have done for us mm. here on the platform and as Samiflex TV, as well as Samiflex myself, and to Shatawale himself for um, allowing this particular partnership to grow to this level. Oh, where we <laughs> <laughs> oh and the shirts, the shirts, the t-shirts. Uh, uh, yes, the t-shirts uh -huh. One uh -huh. Uh, being worn by Roland. Yeah, 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 yeah. T-shirts were designed by um, Dreamline. Dreamline. Yeah, yeah. Dreamline. 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 Yeah, Dreamline did the T-shirt. So yeah. if you also want some T-shirts like this, yeah. you can also get some from Dreamline. And to Saviola. Uh, Man like Shut up, movement lyricist. If you want all the lyrics, oh, uh, Sabio also has a YouTube channel mm. that is um, Benisa Savior. Benisa Savior, huh? That is the name of the YouTube channel, Benisa Savior. So go there and some Shut up, movement updates and the lyrics. They are all there for your pleasure as well. My name is Sammy Flex. I see you when I see you. Thanks for celebrating me. I really appreciate and I'm grateful. We'll be back tomorrow. Bye bye.